goodness. Go in. I mean, come on. Here we go. Look at this bad boy. This is from Q Golf. You've seen these things. It's a one club in all. There's 11 different settings in this bad boy. Everything from putter all the way to 64 degree lob wedge. So the putter's like a five degrees and then it goes up to 64 and you just press it in and make your adjustments. It's a little tricky because you have the adjustment and then you've got a, a club that's in between the two numbers. So uh, the numbers only indicate, let's say, half the potential lofts. And one thing I am worried about is when you get to these higher lofts, you got a lot of this soul and bounce on the ground. We'll see how she performs, but we're gonna put her to the test. We're playing nine holes out here with Q Golf, and we'll see if it's worth it. This thing's like 370 bucks for this. All right, 167, normally that's like an eight iron for me. I'm gonna go seven iron here. Let's see, there we go. Adjuster, put her in putter mode right there. Oh, that's, all right, I gave it a little extra hit there because uh, I left the first one so short and it worked out. So even par through one. All right, it has a stinger mode, but I don't, I don't think stinger mode's the play here on this hole. We're hitting a little uphill. I need to, all the carry I can get. So we got hybrid again. Actually better than I thought. I only have 145 left. Do an eight iron just to see what we can do here. All right, a little left, thinned it again. I think I'm a little nervous about hitting down onto the ground with that right now, but we'll, we'll get used to it. There's for sure gonna be a learning curve with this that um, it's gonna take probably I don't know how long. It's gonna take me a little bit, a few shots on course to get used to the feel of it. It definitely feels very different than my normal clubs. That went through a lot better than I thought, to be honest with you. I thought it was gonna kinda of zing out really low, but it just popped up. All right, All right we're just gonna putt it. All right, bogey golf. Well, bogey on this hole. All right, we have a par three here. We're going back into the wind, 180. So I'm gonna go six iron here. I hit that good. Good divot on that, sounded great. Pured it, low trajectory. It just went a little bit right. So to me, it, it reminds me more of a, a hybrid, which I don't typically play with, primarily because my miss with hybrids is like a big giant hook shot. And something I do like is the fact that it does have a longer shaft. If I wanna hit it farther, like let's say my six iron a little farther, I can just hold you know further down on the club so it's like a longer shafted six iron. All right, Ooh, a little sandy save with the Q Golf. All right. Okay, we have a nice par five here. The website says that the stinger is 11 degrees. So I'm gonna go stinger here. All right, that stinger went nowhere. I think you need a heck of a lot more club head speed than me to really get the stinger working. Uh, we're laying up here, par five, we're going six iron. All right, squirted to the right a little, but I think we're in play. I feel like I hit it good, it just squished off to the right. So far, just a few holes in, I'm not hitting great shots, but I'm not hitting like horrible shots either. And I think the fun factor of this is on the high end. Like a scale of one to 10, I think fun factor, that'd be like a 10. This is good, I hit it basically pin high. I don't like 64 in this uh, scenario. Actually, you know what I like? I like this little hybrid setting here. It's a little strong, but man, that was a good one. I like that play. We'll test her downhill, but I'm, I'm happy already with the execution of the previous shot, so. Ah, I thought it would go right a little. All right. Bogey. But that, I don't consider that a bad bogey. Let's go hybrid here. I'm really surprised at how secure that club is when you set it. Like, it doesn't wheel around like you would think something like this would. Woo! That was my best tee shot all day. Here's how far that went. 
we'll let you know as soon as we get there. It's a 375 yard hole. It's 150 what we have left to the center of the green. So that's 225 yards. That's a 225 yard hybrid into the wind on wet, mushy fairway. So no roll, that's pretty good. Yeah, so we'll go six iron because it's dead into the wind and just try to get a good solid swing, just like the last one. I loved that shot. It just was this low rising hook shot. So I missed the green left. I definitely hit the right club. It was maybe too much. It hit right here, plugged. Like a little pitching wedge here. The only thing about the putter is I'm so far away from it. Like I'm used to putting right up here and that's, you can't really do it because you gotta get the putter flat. So I'm a little far away from where I like to be putting. But I, I hit good putts. I prefer to be like kind of my eyes more over the ball. Then you really gotta hit it right off the toe. I guess you could do that. It's just, you gotta swing a lot harder. Hybrid here, par four. Rock and roll, this birdie hole. Let's go. This is one of my favorite holes out here. Second shot, you have to go to this water. So it's almost like a little island peninsula green pitching wedge-ish. That's a good shot. I'm on the green, we're putting. We've got, uh, I don't know, 20 footer for birdie. It's my first real birdie look here. This is makeable too. That's got a chance. It's a little firm. Oh, that leaf helped me. Oh, you see that little leaf? <laughs> That almost knocked it in the hole for me. It slowed it down and kicked it left, but that's a great little par. All right, here we go. Par five, uphill. So I'm going hybrid. Try to get a high hybrid here. So we're just gonna hit the six iron and lay up in a good position. Give ourselves a good look at birdie, hopefully. 92 yards. So we know that from the last hole, that pitching wedge is gonna go a little too far. So let's drop it to 92 like that sand wedge. I kind of miss hit that a little bit off the toe, but I still got pretty good distance. It just went a touch to the right. And I think we're putting though. It's just not as close as I wanted it to be. But look at this, it hit here and spun back a little bit. Step. All right. I wanted to hit it a little higher up. Good little par though. Anytime you get a par with this, I think birdie would be like worth more than a birdie. This is one of my other favorite holes here. It's downhill quite a bit. 64 playing 154. We're gonna go nine iron today. Well, I bailed out to the right a bit. That's long. So gotta play it. I'm going up top, top shelf, 64, lob wedge. Oh my goodness. Go in. I mean, come on. That was, that was nice. I like that. I did kind of go over the fan too. Q Golf, what an up and down. Up and down for the record books for Q Golf. Gotta save that one. Nice par four, big dog leg left. I can't recommend enough the hybrid setting for your tee shots. That was probably my best tee shot of the day. Saved it for the end. 168 yards. I'm gonna go seven iron. I'm gonna aim a little left and just try to get it on that big left part of the green. Man, this thing goes. It goes pretty good. When I hit it, it it looks like it's, I had 168. It looks like it's gonna go 140, but then when it lands, it's like 165. So it's just got one of those ball flights that just kind of hovers and penetrates for a long time. For not hitting a great shot, that was good result. Like if I chunk it like that with my clubs, I'm right here, I'm redoing it. Cause I did chunk it, I'm not gonna lie. It's got a chance. Uh oh. Oh, oh I gave it a good run. All right. What was that, four over? Not bad, not bad. Okay, these are expensive. We're talking 360, 70 bucks for one club. I would do this. If I'm a golf shop, I probably buy five of these and I rent them out to the members so they could borrow it and have some fun. That's what I would do. Uh, but hey, if you're just like some dude who likes to have a good time with your buddies, get, you, you, see, if you're gonna buy one, your buddy has to buy one too. So I wouldn't buy one solo. I would make sure my buddy had one so we could play together. That being said, shoot, it's a lot of fun. 
Check it out. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time.